Is all that we see or seem but a dream within a dream? Edgar Allan Poe's haunting question reverberates through the corridors of our minds, challenging the very foundation of our perceived reality. Are we truly awake, experiencing the tangible world around us? Or are we adrift in a sea of illusions, our senses deceiving us at every turn? The boundary between dreams and reality blurs when we consider the nature of our perceptions. Our senses, those windows to the world, are imperfect instruments, prone to manipulation and misinterpretation. What we perceive as solid and real could be nothing more than fleeting phantoms, projections of our own minds. The very act of questioning our reality suggests a flicker of doubt, a seed of uncertainty planted deep within our subconscious. Perhaps this nagging sense of unease, this feeling that something is not quite right, is a clue a whisper from the depths of our being that there is more to this existence than meets the eye. Imagine for a moment that our waking life is but a dream, a meticulously crafted simulation designed to test the limits of our perception. What if the world we inhabit, with all its complexities and contradictions, is nothing more than an elaborate stage set, a grand illusion orchestrated by an unknown force? If this were true, how could we possibly know? What signs or signals might betray the true nature of our existence? The answer perhaps lies in the anomalies, the glitches in the matrix, those moments when the veil of perception slips and we catch a glimpse of the machinery behind the curtain. A sudden sense of deja vu, a feeling of being watched, a recurring dream that seems eerily real. These could all be subtle hints, whispers from the universe urging us to question the nature of our reality. Or they could simply be the misfirings of our own minds, random occurrences with no deeper meaning. The idea of reality as an illusion is not a new one. Philosophers and writers throughout history have grappled with this very question, exploring the nature of existence and the limits of human perception. Plato's allegory of the cave, for example, suggests that we are like prisoners chained in a cave, mistaking shadows on the wall for reality. Similarly, René Descartes' famous dictum, I think, therefore I am, highlights the fundamental problem of certainty. If our senses can deceive us, how can we be sure of anything, even our own existence? Literature, too, is replete with stories of characters who question their sanity, their grasp on reality slowly unraveling as they delve deeper into the mysteries of their own minds. From the haunting tales of Edgar Allan Poe to the psychological thrillers of modern fiction, the theme of dream versus reality continues to captivate and disturb us. But what if there were more concrete evidence to support the notion of reality as a simulation? What if, amidst the mundane and the everyday, we were to experience something truly extraordinary, something that defied all logical explanation? A sudden bending of the laws of physics, an object appearing or disappearing without a trace, a glitch in the fabric of time itself, these would be impossible to ignore, forcing us to confront the possibility that our reality is not what it seems. Of course, such experiences could also be explained away as hallucinations, tricks of the mind, or simply misinterpretations of sensory data. But the doubt would linger, the seed of uncertainty planted, forever altering our perception of the world around us. If we are indeed living in a dream, a simulated reality, the question then becomes, can we wake up? And if so, what awaits us on the other side? Is it a higher plane of existence, a realm of pure consciousness? or simply another layer of the illusion. Perhaps the act of questioning our reality is itself a step towards awakening, a sign that we are ready to break free from the confines of our perceived limitations. Or perhaps it is all futile, a cruel joke with no punchline, leaving us trapped forever in a cycle of illusion and disillusionment. The possibility of waking up from the dream, however, offers a glimmer of hope, a sense that there is more to life than this mundane existence. It suggests that we are not merely passive observers in a pre-programmed reality, but active participants with the power to shape our own destinies. In the end, the question of whether we are living in a dream or reality remains unanswered, a tantalizing mystery that continues to haunt the fringes of human thought. Perhaps there is no definitive answer, no way to prove or disprove the nature of our existence, but the very act of questioning, of exploring the boundaries of our perception, is a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit, our innate desire to understand the universe and our place within it. And who knows, perhaps one day we will awaken from this dream and finally glimpse the true nature of reality. Or perhaps, as Poe so eloquently put it, it is all just a dream within a dream an endless loop of illusion and perception.
with no beginning and no end. The possibility, however unsettling, is a haunting reminder of the fragility of our existence and the infinite mystery that lies at the heart of it all.